right, shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles, a great millstone that taught us this truth. All right, this is Isaiah from GMS London, England. Coming with another lesson. All right, and this one I want to speak about basically thoughts that I had, you know, that I'm thinking about, you know, that I had about last camp, man. You know, you know, it was a, just a detail, you know, that I thought about basically, you know, which was a beautiful camp we had, you know, and, um, you know, the scriptures tell you, man, how beautiful it is for brothers to dwell in unity, you know. So, you know, you know, brothers are out there doing the work, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Barshmi Yahweh Shai, which is beautiful, man. You know, and as we were teaching, you know, we were observing, you know, and, and I happened to catch, you know, exactly, you know, just by the corner where we were, you know, by the side of us, you know, there was a, a bench and there was a guy sitting down. Okay, and I noticed he was sitting down, you know, with a, you know, there was a woman speaking to him and there was another guy, you know, next to him that was sitting down, right, in the same place. And it was spiritual because we were just speaking about the topic about the Lord's judgment. We were speaking about the topic on how the Lord judges people and does, you know, uh, you know, these spooky judgments, you know, when things get spooky and when things you know, those are uh, out of the normal, uh, weird occurrences, unusual happenings. We were just speaking about that. You know, we were speaking about, you know, uh, how the Lord kills and makes alive. The Lord wounds and he heals. Okay, which is in the scriptures. Alright, the Lord is the one that controls all things. And as we were going into these things, you know, I just so happened to be in the right position to watch right where the guy was sitting and right above him where the trees were you know uh, must have been an apple tree or whatever type of you know acorns or whatever but as we were speaking about that I literally seen the you know what some object either it was an apple or a big conker or some form of object fell from off the tree and I seen it descend from from that height of the tree and 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 hit the guy's head like squared target like bullseye. I so loud you could even hear it on the camera on the recording. Okay? You could see it man and and man I, I just I saw that as all occur at once and I was just I was taken back man because we were just going into that topic still in speaking about that topic. And the Lord does that. He, he shows and proves, you know. I noticed, I said, that's the spirit. You know, that was a spirit that, that had happened to that man. As we were speaking about the Lord judging people and the Lord doing things. And there's no coincidences and there's no accidents on the earth. We were going into these things. So, you know, you know, and he was, he was, he couldn't believe it, you know. The guy was there all looking around on the floor like he was flabbergasted. <laughs> Didn't know that he woke up that morning, you know, to sit in front of, you know, uh, you know, you know, brothers that teaching the truth of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, you know, which he was hearing the word. And it's a funny thing, the person next to him, you know, the Jake next to him, he was cool. He actually saluted and, you know, he greeted us, you know, while we were teaching. And they sat down on this bench right in front of us and we saw them. But he was with this other guy and this other guy he he had a, a different spirit he weren't in that kind of spirit you know so who knows maybe he was scoffing in his head maybe he had a, a an insulting thought about us in his head maybe he didn't like what we were saying maybe he was offended he even you know that's the thing the lord knows people's thoughts man so it was very interesting all right and and, and i noticed that in the spirit and it's only now I'm kind of having those thoughts. I want to just speak about it to a video, man. So I want to speak about the, the scriptures. Uh, Proverbs chapter 20 and 24. All right, where it says, Man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? So where is, you know, you know, basically there is no free will, man. 
You know, people don't just do what they do, you know, off of their own mind in the earth because they just decided to do it one day. You know, everything is ordained of the Lord, man. All right. Whether good happens to someone or whether bad, you know, good or evil happens to someone, that's all of the Lord. And that's why we say to fear the Lord. Because the even reason anybody's whole existence is even on the earth is because the Lord has a destiny for them. Now, whether that's a destiny, like whether they're on the earth, they've been born to, you know, you know, live many years with, you know, not much greatness happening, you know, and, and to die peacefully. Or whether, you know, somebody has a short life and an impactful life. Or, or however it goes, somebody could be born just to be judged. Somebody could be born just to, you know, do a great act and, and you know, there's different types of uh, lots, you know, and destinies for different people, man. And that's all down to the Lord. So that's why we say fear the Lord, man. All right, destiny and, and you know, um, you know, free will, that's all down to the Lord. The Lord is the, it's, it's the Lord's will. Okay, whether somebody is, um, all right, whether somebody is, you know, talented, they got great, oh, look at all these celebrities, Michael Jackson and, you know, Michael Jordan. LeBron James, all these different types of athletes and all these different inventors and creatives and all that stuff, that's all given to them by the Lord. Nobody just wakes up one day and they just do their own thing. All right, the book of Job, you know, um, I believe 33, all right, towards the middle verses on down, it tells you how when uh, in the middle of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, then the Lord opens uh, the ears of men and sealeth their instruction to withdraw a man from his purpose and to hide pride from man okay so every every night man people go to sleep they're in that deep sleep slumbering you know a bit of drool down the side of their face you know dripping down their cheeks and they're, they're you know they're out of it man you know gone sleeping all right that's the time when the lord That's the time of the, that when the Lord puts it in them and to, to do what they're going to do for the next day. <laughs> you know, Arkin, we got to stay prayed up, man. You know, Barakata Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, man, because, you know, you got these spirits and these demons that are out here, man. You know, but the Lord's got it, you know. Tying into the lesson I'm, I'm speaking about, the Lord's got us, man. You know, that's why we, we pray Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, that we get to our, uh, you know, we pray to Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, that we get to our destination safe and we get back to our destination safe, all right? Because you've got these idiots, these stupid fucking people out here, man, that are just demons. Reckless and careless, you know? But then again, this is it's down to the spirit because the Lord, you know, the Lord's got people out here doing what they're supposed to be doing, man. But those people that are doing wickedness and those people that, you know, You know that are doing the evil they're gonna have to pay for that they're gonna get judged that's the thing that's why the scripture says that the deceived and the deceiver are his you know so those people that you know like Esau these Edomites they're doing all this wickedness and have done all this wickedness but it was the Lord that had them do it just like how it's gonna be the Lord that's gonna have them judge for it that's balanced that, that's what it is man all right Proverbs 16 and 4 says um, yeah I've created the wicked for the day of evil so the wicked you know the Lord has made them that's how they are man it's in them to do wickedness Esau couldn't do right even if he wanted to and he's gonna receive the judgment that he's gonna he's gonna receive and he can't say you know why he can't say why well, look at all the evil he's done in the earth the slavery he's done unto the Lord's people right the pollution of the earth this man has really gone throughout the whole earth you know robbing pillaging destroying stealing all right and that's that's you know that's in him that's his nature man 
And it's going to be beautiful when the Lord destroys him. Just like Pharaoh. Look at the, you know, what happened to Pharaoh in ancient Egypt. Pharaoh had the Israelites in slavery. Okay? And the Israelites being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, and our scattered people through their fathers. You know? In, in um, According to Bible prophecy, man. Alright? And the Pharaoh had our people, you know, the Egyptians. They had our people in slavery. Alright? And uh, under oppression and hard bondage. Just like Esau has us today, man. Right? There's no new thing under the sun. So, what happened to Pharaoh and the Egyptians? They were plagued, man. Okay? The more that they oppressed us, the more that we grew. The scriptures tell you that, man. They tried to get rid of all the male children, the male, you know, the males that were born. Alright? They oppressed us with hard labor and bondage, treated us, you know, very badly ill you know ill treated us mistreated us you know to where they got plagued man you know rivers of blood you know uh, uh, you know the darkness over the land the firstborns their firstborns getting slaughtered you know all these different types of plagues happened unto them you know and what ended up happening the scriptures tell you that you know Pharaoh wouldn't let the Lord's people go and that it was the Lord that hardened Pharaoh's heart Come on, man. You think Pharaoh, you know, would have, you know, if he knew that all of that would have to happen, you think he wouldn't have just let the, the Israelites go? See, this is the thing people are going to understand, man, that this is the Lord's movie, man. This is the Lord's will. All right? Man is the creature. Not, you know, th this is the thing. And, you know, the scriptures tell you that uh, does not the potter have uh, power over the clay? Who's the potter? That's, that's the Lord. The Lord's our potter. He's our creator. We're the creation. He controls everything. Alright? The scriptures tell you that a sparrow, one of those, you know, those birds, they don't fall to the ground unless the Lord sanctioned it. That's power, man. So we serve and, and, and worship a living true power, man. The Heavenly Father's name being Yahweh, which means He is. Okay, he exists. Okay, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, means he is salvation, right? The deliverer. So this is what's going on in the earth, man. Nobody's got no free will. Just like Pharaoh found out because his heart was hardened to keep the, the Israelites and keep pursuing the Israelites. And what ended up happening? He got drowned in the sea, man. You know, the Red Sea, the Gulf of Suez. Right, where the Israelites walked through the waters on dry land and then the Lord closed up the, the waters on the Egyptians and, and the Pharaoh and his army. So what free will did Pharaoh have when the Lord hardened his heart, his mind to pursue us, to be stubborn? No man, what, what was all the purpose? To show the power of the Lord, man. Egypt was a superpower, rule, ruling, all right? And the Lord brought them down and he got the glory. Just like it was what's going to happen in these last days. When the, the you know, the, the Pharaoh today being Esau, the so-called white man, right? Ruling America, which is Babylon. Also spiritually Egypt. When America's destroyed, then what? Who's going to get the glory? Who, who done this? Who is the power that has caused this? Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's the thing as well. You think these elites... You know, would be doing their NWO, setting up all these things. If they knew only that America is just going to be uh, destroyed with missiles, do you think that they would use these nuclear missiles? Do you think that they would be making these nuclear missiles if they knew that it was going to be used to destroy America and certain lands that get hit? But America is going to be totally wiped off. Okay, Amos 9 and 8. Behold, my eyes are upon this sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off of the face of the earth, saith the Lord. But saving I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Okay? So America is that, that sinful uh, kingdom, man. Pushing the ways of Sodom, pushing the ways of um, idolatry and wickedness in the earth. Right? And this judgment is going to be fire nuclear destruction 
and that's the Lord's will, man. This is a part of his, his script, as it's written, man. Uh, uh, Babylon being turned into a lake of fire. Now, do you think these elites and all these people would be doing the things they're doing if they knew that was the end? That that would actually, you know, uh, happen? No, because they think that they can avoid that thing. People think that they can avoid these things happening, but they can't because it's the will of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. It's written in the scriptures. All right? So in, in closing, you know, final thoughts, you know, everything is detailed, man. Lord willing, that's the point that I'm conveying in this thing, man, because and only a spiritual person is going to understand that. All right? The scriptures tell you that a spiritual man judgeth all things, you know, roughly quoted, you know. You know, you've got to be spiritually minded, you know, spiritually discerned, man. Because somebody could say, oh, well, that person that, you know, that you saw whose, you know, object hit his head at, at the camp. Oh, that was just a coincidence. Oh, that was just an accident. He was in the wrong place, wrong time. Really? Was he in the wrong place at the wrong time? Or was he in the right place at the right time for that? Some people, they can't, they can't understand these things, man. And you know what? It don't matter. It's, it don't matter if they believe or not. Because, you know, only the elect are going to believe this truth. even on down to the, the point where you know uh, uh, which was prophecy you know that uh, you know uh, disciple Peter you know where the Lord told Peter that he would deny him three times the Lord told Peter he would deny him three times you know uh, you know before the cop crew come on man before the cop crew you're telling me that the that life on this earth ain't to details the Lord is about details, man. So that's why Akim, you know, that's a comforting thing and a fearful thing at the same time. Because it's comforting to know that nothing that happens without Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai say so. You think Peter wanted to deny, to, you know, to deny the Lord in that situation, in that circumstances, in that time? If he had a, you know, if it was his way, of course he wouldn't. But it's the Lord's will, it was prophecy, it was written that way. But Apostle Peter, he, you know, He's of the elect. But it was written that it would go down that way. And guess what? He's going to be delivered, you know, and he's going to receive the kingdom, you know, it, well, when the kingdom is established, man, because he's of the Lord's elect, you know? But my point being is that that happened still. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter knew what time it was. He knew what happened. He knew what was told. So my point being is that the Lord is detailed, man. Everything that happens in our lives, everything that happens on the earth, it's all detailed. The Lord is about details, all right? Even so, to the scriptures tell you, you can't even turn your hairs gray. You can't make yourself taller or short or whatever. Everything that happens is down to the Lord's will. Alright, so I'm going to end it here, Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to say all praises be to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and to the elect out there, Shalom.